I thought I'd take them out on an excursion today. <sighs> Two girls. Obviously, we had to wait till Camilla gets up. Well, I've never known a young lady for lying in quite like she does. So at about five o'clock, when the light was beginning to fade and she was at her best, she said, quite the madam. We drove off to the local art gallery. I had made special arrangement. It was open. A fine, fine house used to belong to my cousin, but he had found it unprofitable, so he had left it to the nation, and the nation had fitted with art. And I know my niece, she's very fond of art, so I... And I thought, well, there's some nice pictures of my old famous folks and good dogs. So I'm um, uh, looking at pictures of dogs and horses is never uh, some time wasted. So round we went by chandelier light, would you believe it? And it was gorgeous! Such fine daubs! And the wallpaper was classy too. I thought my niece was in her seventh heaven, and even Carmilla, who often is rather hard to please, seemed delighted. She would sit and look at gothic castles, her eyes almost glowing red licking her lips, and I would ask her, is it something you remember, my dear? And she turned to me and said, oh yes, but it wasn't quite like that, not quite, but I remember him painting it. How could you, my dear? That is centuries old. <laughs> I suppose you mean you remember it in spirit. But it was towards the end of the gallery. There was a very famous picture by El Greco of the court, I think it was, in Italy. Of Italy in, when it was in Italy. Philip IV, certainly. But I visited Naples, I think. And there was all the, the Italian finery. Ludicrous. Daft hats. Wonderful feathers. Grotesque to the point of... Mm, I don't know what. But as I was looking at it with my daughter, I don't know where Carmilla was. Um, I think there was a, a display of gothic, a more gothic style art, the kind she really likes down in the crypt. I, I expect she was down there. But anyway, I was there with my niece, and all of a sudden the young miss pointed and said, Look, uncle, look. And I looked. And there right at the back, there was a... a a young lady, black hair, eyes dark, skin that might once have been quite tanned but pale, with a long sinuous mouth, beautiful. It's her, said my niece, and just for a moment, it must be some relative, although as it was a group photo, it did not say who they all were. But I assume the Viconte had been living there. I assume so. For it was her very spit. And I didn't see the mother very much. She was quick, but it seemed to me that in the shadows there was a woman who would pass for her. We asked Camilla on the way home, and she laughed and said, Old paintings hide in at all, hide all the truths. You don't want to listen to what you see. <laughs> well, what on earth does that mean? But as it is, if I knew where to send her home, to be honest with you, and it's not nice to have to record this of uh, one so young and so vulnerable, but her ankle is better. Her mother said that she would be in contact. But where is the mother now? I would get rid of her, send her about. But the young miss, my weiss, is so besotted. She's taken to getting up late as well, just so that she can spend more time with her friends. And I come in. I come in late after a night busy at the tables. And the pair of them are too tete a tete and candlelight, wearing those white shifts they seem to like so much. Ugh. It can't be right, I tell you. In my day, we'd have already married them off. I am not a happy man tonight.